we're at Ikea. So as you guys notice, I'm really horrible at organizing things and I've decided that I need to be better at that. So to get some of my lenses and camera body and equipment organized, I do have an Ikea like packed wardrobe in the office. So we're here to get a new shelf for that wardrobe and some of the organization that goes along with it. And yes, I'm on the knee scooter again, vlogging and trying not to kill myself. So let's see how it goes. All right. There's so much Ikea, it's insane. Here's the hard part about Ikea, is they give you way too many options. Uh, but what I really wanted to see was the drawer options, because I have well, this width, and to see what kind of organizational options I might have. That looks pretty good. Look at that, pretty cool. Could fit a couple lenses in there, maybe a couple bodies in those spots, and then obviously some bigger maybe cable organizers, or any of that kind of stuff. To see, I think that that's a pretty good option. Let's see what this guy's called. Scub. Available in the marketplace. All right, good to know. As you do with IKEA, you write down the aisle and bin number so you know where the heck you're going. Obviously, one of those will be in the marketplace. I like this because you can kind of cut it to size. It's kind of cheap. I'm gonna get some to see how I can use it to see if that's good to organize some of the stuff in the different drawers. Ooh, a package of six different sizes. I think this is worth getting to see how we can shove these into a drawer. I think I found some of the stuff that's gonna work. Some of it I was able to pick up and put in the cart. Some of the other stuff we have to find in the marketplace. And then some of the stuff is self-serve, as IKEA can be. Ikea can be confusing, so make sure you pay attention. <laughs> Don't run into anything, okay? Okay. I always forget how big this place is. So this is me in the office, some dirt bike posters behind me. And as I did with my garage, I showcased to you guys that I have way too much crap that is way too unorganized. So again, I'm going to showcase to you my shelf that I'm pointing at over there in front of you that you can't see because it's not behind me. It's in front of me. Uh, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to organize a little bit of it with some Ikea stuff and then hopefully the way that we're going to continue to organize it and not have it look so crappy. Yeah. So this is a black shelf uh, packs. Ikea unit that I've had for a very long time and these kind of shelves and these kinds of extremely open wasted shelves are what I'm gonna try to fix so I went ahead and I like the drawer that I have down here but it again it's just unorganized there's just a bunch of crap in it so I went ahead and got another drawer and another shelf so hopefully that shelf will help take up some room there and I can get some Ikea units to go there and then that other drawer is gonna go kind of in this area, so it's body height. And this will probably wind up just being computer paper and stuff like it is now, but just much more better, much more organized. So I'm gonna take you guys through some of the organizational bits that I got and then start putting it together and we can figure out how this is gonna get figured out. Mm -hmm. Oh man, the things you find, 128 megabyte SD card. This thing has gotta be old. Check out those dampeners. It's pretty sweet. All right, got it in. Check out those dampeners now that it's in. And pull it out, you can feel kind of the stiction it gives. Goes all the way out. Goes in soft. All right, now this is what I was looking for. There's a nice big drawer that I can put a bunch of small organizational bits in. Now again, I could have built something, but I just didn't know what I needed to do yet. Um, and so this gives me a chance to kind of play around with different stuff. So I'll show you guys how I fill it up once I start making sure I organize everything. 
But this is two of the scubs. I think it's a two pack. No, it was $6.99 for one of these. So you got about 13 bucks and $6.99. It came with those four back there and then those two as well. I uh, don't really know how I'm gonna use those. I think those are gonna be good for using down to organize some of the papers and stuff at the bottom. And those will be just in case later on. Those were like $1.99 a piece. I got two of them. Those are the cheapest though. So I'm kind of trying not to use those as much as possible. Well, if you guys are anything like me, this is what your desk looks right now and you're procrastinating about getting your taxes done like I am. So I'm still working on organizing all of my photography gear, which you guys will see hopefully by the end of the week. I just wanted to let you know I'm trying. But unfortunately, because of the fact that I don't stay organized and I procrastinate too much, this is what happens. Where are you at with your taxes? Quick interlude. Today I'm getting my third cast. Surgery cast, second cast, third cast. This one should be a walking cast. So continue the photo organization shortly. As of right now, things look good. Unfortunately, I've got three weeks on this cast, not two weeks, and it is not a walking cast. They said I'm allowed to transition some weight every now and again, but it is not a walking cast and I cannot walk on it. That is extremely unfortunate. So three weeks, 22nd, let's go organize the photography gear. Man, well, it's been a whole week of me trying to find little bits of organization to get onto this crazy shelf that I got from Ikea years and years ago that I've been repurposing. This shelf's just not going to work out, but I wanted to show you guys what I came up with for now. Uh, it's probably about 85 to 90% of the way there. It's definitely not perfect, but the photography drawer is really good, so I'm going to kind of kind of show you what has happened, where I'm at. Uh, please give me suggestions if you have any of them, and I'm going to kind of talk you through some of the things that I don't think are really working out that well. I'm sitting here on my knee scooter showing you guys what's going on. So the bottom drawer here is really kind of the office type stuff. Uh, papers, papers, uh, printer bits, and then it's a little bit of extra computer storage uh, going on there. Uh, underneath what we've got is different types of, so this is a bunch of hard drives that I need to hold on to, need to find a better way to keep those, maybe even a safe so just nothing happens to them. Um, different old work on those guys. Lots of audio, no, this is actually video style cables. So we either have HDMI or USB, micro, mini, and all that kinds of fun stuff. Uh, Thunderbolt, even some crazy video stuff that I've had from years past. And then uh, the Mevo is just hanging out here for right now. And then we're going to go to all the audio type stuff. So we're going to have a lot of microphones and uh, audio style cables, you know, RCA, uh, quarter inch, all that jazz. So we're making our way up here. Like the stereo is still there kind of for the house, everything that's going on there. And this is going to be a little bit of a lost and found, honestly. I uh, haven't been able to totally go through all that stuff. So, and then just a, an old slide. But this is kind of the meat and potatoes of everything that I really wanted to have happen was this photography drawer. So I'm going to talk you through this the most. So I've got my 70 to 200 lens uh, in its case here. This is a little bit of a catch-all. Uh, just some odds and ends, some old triggers that I don't really use anymore. Bits for uh, my Black Rapid strap, little things like that. Chargers, extra batteries. This is kind of my motion time-lapse cables. Uh, my syrup's going to go in here. And then, of course, all the cables for the syrup. The Astro Pico. Uh, so that. And then I've got uh, a Velo. I like this guy. This uh, softbox for my flash. Uh, helps you use a flash for everything that's going on. And then I've also got an F-Stoppers uh, softbox kind of deal. The flash disc. I really like that thing. I like this one better than this guy. But we can get into that in another video if you guys are interested. Of course, some audio stuff. So my wireless... Then we've got wireless for the microphones, and we've got some other labs that need to go here. Then we've got lenses. So I've got, you know, 50 50, I've got the 50, the 1450, we've got a microphone, we've got the new road here, got a lens, got a microphone there, then a, a battery grip for my 7D. Move over to the other side. 
And of course, you got the old Rude that we did a little bit of a difference for a 7D with a black rabbit on it. Uh, this way, I can clean my uh, clean my sensors. Of course, the Jobby that you guys have seen, Flash, uh, a Universal Charger Kit, and then now some GoPro stuff. So I figured this would be a good place to kind of keep some GoPro. And I've got some UV filters, uh, clear UV filters, so that I can have some protection on the lenses that I've been using. So I, I like the organization here of the battery drawer or of the, I'm sorry, of the photography drawer. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, how have you done yours? What could I do different? Uh, or if you think that I did a good job, fantastic. Let me know. Again, kind of going, we've got a battery organization, which is almost a must. We've just got so many different things that need batteries these days, especially with kids. I'm excited that my Arduino kit came in. So I'm going to do a couple different Arduino projects for you guys uh, on the channel. Uh, very much looking forward to learning, to playing around with some of those tutorials. I can link that if you guys are really looking forward to it. Uh, then I've also got a Garmin uh, Verb XE, so I found a lot of extra accessories that I had lying around for that and a lot of different types of mounts. Uh, so I said, you know what, this is kind of a good little catch-all for those. It keeps them semi-organized, but at the same time, it's not just a bunch of random crap in random different places. They're there. Uh, this is definitely a little bit of a catch-all right now. I haven't figured that out. I like this to be tape and some that uh, duster stuff. Uh, this will probably go back to batteries as we go. Now you get up here, it's getting a little bit worse. I'm not going to lie. This is where it gets a little bit less organized. I've just got to figure out how to do this. And this is where I don't like this shelf. The shelf's too deep, too tall. Uh, and once you get up here, it's very unusable space just because I'm not tall enough to get to it. I'm going to try to keep organizing this stuff and keep going. I got uh, this guy back here is actually going to be a really good GoPro organization kit. So I think what I'm going to do is that's going to be all my GoPro stuff eventually as it's not living not in a bag. But then up top, I did put another shelf just to for now. So the XC10 living in that guy, a fun little helicopter that we play with at the house. And then my old bag, my in-case bag, which I really like using, so when we go do any shoots and I've got to do GoPro stuff, I whip that guy out and bring all my GoPro attachments and mounts and accessories in that bag. So that way I've got a GoPro bag and a camera bag and I know kind of where everything is. That's how it's all worked out. Hopefully you guys find a little bit of this organizational useful. As you notice, I am going to be organizing a lot of things lately. I am a very unorganized person and that has to change. Hopefully with your help I can do that. So please give me comments, give me suggestions for sure and link me to videos, tell me about what you've done. I want to know all that kinds of stuff. Again, I'm Brian Pierce, your purveyor of awesome. If any of this helped you at all, please give it a thumbs up. Potentially want to subscribe to the channel? Do it. That'd be fantastic. And I want your suggestions, so leave those in the comments below. All right, definitely. We'll see you on the internet. Peace.